passenger sitting behind us. <laughs> In management, we've learned lessons from case studies and from training experiences that will be able to help us to lead aviation into the future. In engineering, computer science, the lessons that you've learned on the board in the CRT will help you transfer that knowledge into the aircraft and the systems of the future. Ladies and gentlemen, in front of you are the men and women who will lead aviation for the next 60 years, continue the 60 years of excellence. Some of us will be working in the industrial sector. We'll be designing and uh, building the planes, the aircraft, and the systems of tomorrow. Some of us will be commercial and corporate pilots, men and women who will never be replaced by machines. <laughs> Guys, these people who will carry passengers around this nation of ours and around the world. Some of us will enter the military. Our responsibility is to lead the nation in defense, participate in the defense, make sure our nation stays free. Guys, remember when you first came here, you had a goal. You said, I'm going to make it through here come hell or high water. You've made it. With that same drive and that same enthusiasm, take that to the outside world. Take it to the industry. Take it with you wherever you go. Let's go get them. Thank you.
John Joseph Daly solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, that you well, well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter. I, John Joseph Daly, do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter, so help me God. back to Polo. <laughs> Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Aviation Administration please come forward? John Joseph Daly. Corey Allen D. Camp. Lieutenant Kenneth Brian Mulligan. Janine. L. Versino.
will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Aviation Management please come forward. Lieutenant David John Leadham. Richard Ann Moore, also receiving an Associate of Science degree in Computer Programming. David Clark Sachs. <laughs> Lieutenant James Joseph Westland. Science degree in Aviation Business Administration, please come forward. Stephen Francis Bartholomew. <laughs> Lieutenant Wendy Maurice Cummins. Kim Marie Hesse, graduating cum laude. James Finbar Mooney, graduating magna cum laude. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Aviation Maintenance Management, please come forward. Lieutenant Paul Sylvester Daly, Jr. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science with Aviation Applications, please come forward. Lieutenant Richard Ray Bergen. <laughs> Lieutenant Dion Monique Hopmeyer. William Jerry Jackson. <laughs> Michelle C. Murphy.
candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering please come forward. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Studies please come forward?
Eric Keith Shim. James M. Thomas. for the Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Science, please come forward. Christopher Ann Kern. Peter Bruce Cole. Joseph Malinchek. Lieutenant Eric Stephen Perlman. and Roni. <laughs> Timothy David Williams. Bachelor of Professional Aeronautics degree, please come forward. Yeah. 
Center, Barbara Ann West. There is one award which we give at each graduation. Uh, we, we think so highly of the award that there have even been times when it hasn't been awarded. But based on the recommendation of the Dean of Academics, because this award pertains to an individual's performance on an academic sense, and based on the recommendation of the Dean of Students, because the award includes consideration of campus, community, and other types of activities, we give what is termed the Chancellor's Award. And I don't usually know the status of that award until I reach under the podium here. But as well as times have happened when we haven't given the award, the two deans found uh, it impossible to come up with the name of one individual for the award this time. So they have recommended and I have agreed to give it to two people. Uh, reach into the secret folder here. <laughs> this is the Chancellor's Award presented for outstanding academic achievement and campus involvement. And I'd first like to invite Kim Marie Hesse. Oh,
looks like even though it's the first time we've been in this building and off campus because of the size of the graduating class that the registrar has done an outstanding job of setting up the ceremonies today and i really want to applaud her for that i hope you're all as happy as i am with two sons and a son-in-law having gone across the stage this morning it's a particularly important daily family day i can't continue to provide that kind of support to the university at least at this point we're all right now we're going to have a reception at the hacienda directly across the street in the arizona room but i know we'll be bigger than the arizona room can handle so we have gotten the permission of the hotel to wander into the lobby and uh expand our activities beyond that it'll give you an opportunity to meet general light up close paul riddle and some of the other people whom you've uh, been seeing here on the podium before we close the festivities i would like to ask one group that we haven't taken enough time out to recognize and give our applause to and those are the ones who are so important to any one of these students completing their education both financially and uh and basically uh the loyalty and support that comes from their parents and from their other family members i wish they would all stand so that we could recognize you please bit of recommendation or recognition where the rubber meets the road i guess you'd say where the whole thing really takes place in the classroom where you confront the fount of knowledge and drink from it i would like to recognize those people sitting behind me and ask the faculty representatives if they'd stand so that we could recognize their accomplishments